What's up everyone? Janky World has been weird, but the veto ceremony might make it even weirder. We've got so, so much to talk about, so welcome to your live feed update. Right before we get started, if you are new around here, make sure that you hit the subscribe button. I do live feed updates here on this channel every single day so that you can be a Big Brother expert in just 10 minutes. And also, please hit the like button. That one helps me push my videos out there more. Really means the world to me. Just that little click takes all of 0.2 seconds to do so, and it gives a good old to the YouTube algorithm. Also, I do put a lot of effort into these videos, so if you feel like buying me some snacks or coffee, please hit up my PayPal link in the description below, or leave a super thanks in the comment section below. Let's get to the update. Now the veto ceremony is fast approaching and by the time you watch this it may have actually happened um, but as of right now we pretty much know what is going to happen at the veto ceremony so I will remind everybody who didn't know there are two power of vetoes in place this in play this week. Angela has the main power of veto and Leah has the janky veto. This janky veto, it sounds like you have to, if you want to play it, you have to win some kind of carnival game or some kind of competition. So Leah is kind of refraining from wanting to do that. She doesn't want to even attempt, so she's probably not going to use the veto. But Angela does want to use the power of veto and she is most likely going to use it on Mr. Chemo. Now, with Chemo coming off the block and Rubina left up there, who is going to be the replacement nominee? Now, the talk continues going back and forth from Chelsea to t -car, from Chelsea to t -car, to Chelsea, back to t -car, then back to Chelsea again, and then and then I bet you can't guess where it goes next. It goes, it goes to t -car, all right? And it seems like it's landed on t -car, but this is last-minute talks right now, I literally could put this video up and then in 10 minutes time the decision could change but as of right now I'm most confident in saying T-Core. I, I think it's going to be her but here's the thing. If she puts T-Core up Rubin is probably going to go because the votes won't be there to send t uh to send t out. Um the trio, Mackenzie, Cam and Chelsea, should come together and take T-Car out because she's the figurehead of that side. But they won't. T-Car's got a great social game and that's going to be... and an, an, It'll attest to, to how well she's played so far. However, if they were to put Chelsea up, then they would have the votes because Chemo, Angela and T-Car would send her out the door. So, I don't know. It's, it's, it's close. But with T-Car, I think... I, I, I don't know. I, th I think she would stay. I, I do. I think I, I think Rubina would go. I don't know. We can speculate all day about that kind of stuff. But as of right now, it's looking like Angela is going to use the power of veto on Chemo. And t -Car will be put up as the replacement nominee. Now, at one point during the day, Leah and Angela kind of came together. And I think they're kind of forming a two. I think it's a loose two. But it's somewhat there. And it's something to take note of. But they thought about forming a final five with Cam, Chelsea and Mackenzie. I like Leah and I like Angela. But isn't the writing on the wall right there? If you're a two getting into bed with a three going into the final five, who's going to be chopped first when it comes to fifth and fourth place? It does not take a rocket scientist to figure that one out. It's dumb gameplay. It's dumb moves. What Leah and Angela need to be focusing on. Because they have the power card right now. They have got two vetoes at their will. And they've got to realise that the house is split. You've got two trios. Cam, Chelsea, Mackenzie on one side. Tikar, Kimo and Rubina on the other side. Why on earth is now the chance to go, yeah, let's just get into bed with one of the trios. You will be fifth and fourth if that happens. You need to use the veto as leverage to somewhat turn these groups against each other or turn them within against each other. Because let me tell you, Chelsea and Cam are getting a little bit... Chelsea is not happy with Cam recently. She even moved her, I would say, bed, but she moved her cot away from Cam because she was that annoyed with him yesterday. But the, the this power that you have with two vetoes, if you put your minds together... I'm sure there'd be something. I've seen people do more with less. I've seen Dr. Will never win a comp in Big Brother 2 um, or 7. And he still managed to blow up the house in any way he wanted to. It's possible. Listen, when you've got a chaos agent like Angela as well, it's possible. But for me, I think 
Chelsea's side of the house has proven they can win comps more than Kimo's side. So, honestly, I would snipe at Chelsea's side first. I mean, Mackenzie's had four wins altogether. Chelsea's had two HOHs. I think Cam won, a, did Cam won a veto, right? Or did Cam win HOH? I can't remember. He won veto, I think. But And Kimo, Rubina, and T-Car. I mean, I can't even think off the top of my head. But I know T-Car was HOH at one point. But besides that, I don't know. It feels like the sniping at the wrong side and getting into bed with people who are just going to take them out. That's just my opinion, though. One man's opinion. Um, but as of right now, this is the chance to make a move to take out a figurehead. And if you put T-Car on the block against Rubina, you're not going to say, to send her out. Honestly, the best thing they could have done right now is somehow get Chelsea and T-Car on the block together to ensure that one of the power players go home. This is Big Brother 26, though. So as the season goes on, we might see some more ballsy gameplay. And also, this week isn't set in stone yet. We've thought pretty much every week so far has been set in stone at a certain point. Then, bada bing, bada boom. Everything switches around. The Uno reverse card is played. And what we didn't expect to happen, happens. Expect the unexpected. It's the phrase of Big Brother, and it couldn't be truer this season. If you are a Big Brother super fan like I am, then you will want to make sure that you are subscribed to the Big Brother live feeds. You can subscribe to Paramount Plus by using the link in the description below to watch the house guests 24-7. They are currently suffering in janky world, which means they are stuck out in the backyard all week, forced to do sing-alongs and dance parties whenever Big Brother demands it. Plus, they eat copious amounts of ice cream and pizza and bitch about one another in different corners of the backyard. So make sure that you are subscribed to Paramount Plus to watch the house guests 24-7 by subscribing to Paramount Plus in the description below. Now, Chelsea has came under fire from several Big Brother fans. I talked briefly about how she'd moved her cot away from Cam. Um, she, for some odd reason, thinks that Cam is, like, indebted to her and Cam needs to, like, play her game. I'm glad Cam's actually playing his own game or kind of going in the direction of Mackenzie because... For the longest time, we haven't seen Cam do much in the game. And, you know, I feel like he's had a more, I guess, natural bond with Mackenzie than he's had with Chelsea. And I think this is coming to a head now because Chelsea's starting to get very annoyed that Cam is, I guess, spending more time with Mackenzie and not being, I guess, in a weird way, just totally obliviously blind to following Chelsea. Chelsea came out with this incredible line. If a husband is cheating on a wife and she knows and he knows, she knows, then he comes home and says, make me some dinner. That was in reference to the fact that Cam isn't, like, glued to her anymore and is spending more time with Mackenzie. And Cam isn't indebted to Chelsea. Also... For the record, I don't think there's a showman's with Cam and Chelsea. I don't think anyone ever thought there was a showman. If anything, there's a showman's between Cam and Mackenzie that's blossoming. But you can't claim Cam when <coughs> Cam's his own person. Cam doesn't have to blindly fight. Listen, everybody has the opportunity to play their own game in this game. And listen, I've been Chelsea's, like, I've been really supporting Chelsea over these past few weeks saying that she is the best player, and I still believe that. But there comes a point, like I said with Quinn, and like I said with Joseph, where if delusion overtakes clarity, that's been a common theme this season, that's when your game starts to crumble. Chelsea has had clarity there, and she's had delusion there. All of a sudden, delusion's starting to go, Ooh, and it's not quite past the clarity point yet, but it's getting there. She's walking on hot coals right now, and... Ease up on Cam, or that could come bite you in the ass, Chelsea. That is all of your live feed updates from Janky World for today, folks. I thoroughly hope you all enjoyed watching. I know it's a bit of a slow week, but I'm trying to keep it as fun as possible, you know, even though things are, yeah, a little bit more tedious than usual. Um, we've still got a couple of interesting points going on, especially with this Cam and Chelsea thing. A lot of a lot of fans turning on Chelsea. Um, she's had a lot of support, but yeah, I think rightfully so. I mean, I, I, I still like Chelsea, but I think it's a bit weird how she's kind of claiming Cam as her own. Um, 
odd. Yeah. You're not married to Cam, Chelsea, you know, and he's not indebted to you on a game level either. But anyways, I want to thank all the wonderful people who sent in coffee money yesterday. So thank you so, so much for all these wonderful people for buying me a coffee. First of all, we start off with none other than David Cushmore. Thank you so, so much, David Cushmore. Will there be a double eviction on Big Brother? That's the weird thing. When is there going to be a double? I want a double soon. Um, when is the final veto game for Big Brother? That'll be the final four. Who do you want to be jury member? Four and five. Listen, I want Angela to get to the end. You didn't hear that from me. No, I do. I do. I think Angela and Leo would be a fun final two. An unexpected final two. On brand with this season. So, I don't know. I mean, it doesn't really matter the order they got the jury, to be honest. But Angela getting to the end matters most to me. That's just my personal thing, aside from the commentary I give on the game. Um, who do you want to be the final four? Angela, Leah, Mackenzie, and t I, I He's the thing, though. Like, I, I, Mackenzie's like, I, I'd want to pick the unexpected ones. I feel Chemo and Rubina aren't doing enough for me to get that far. Chelsea, I think, is the predictable one. t is also a predictable one. Cam might actually be an unpredictable one to make Final Four. Maybe that would be fun. Cam, Mackenzie, Angela, and Leah. That I'd, Maybe I'd go with that. Um, does anyone get suspended from Big Brother if they swear to the production crew? Uh, no. I mean, unless it's, like, volatile. But, like, Mackenzie was just saying, like, if hey, you for, like, the twist. Do you pick Chilltown as one of the top teams in Big Brother? Yeah, great to watch. Have a great lobster dinner with red wine and cheesecake. Need a lot of Starbucks coffee and eat M&Ms. Thank you so, so much, David Cushmore. I appreciate you. Then we've got the wonderful Soldier Gall, who's coming through with a laughing face. I appreciate you, Soldier Gall. Thank you for your continued support, my darling. Oregon Lakes, who says, Thanks, it's Julie Lake, not Aloha. Well, thank you very much, Julie Lake. I appreciate you. My husband set up my account years ago, and his business name is Aloha from Oregon. Okay, thank you so, so much, Julie Lake. I appreciate you. Um, that's very, very kind and very, very generous, my darling. I hope you have the best day ever, Julie. And then we've got the wonderful Anne Russell Bruno says, I don't want T-Car to win at all. She called Angela a big fat baby. Um, the body shaming is a low blow and shows T-Car's character. Now, here's the thing. When I initially saw that, I was like... Wow, that's bad. But then I thought about it more and people were making the point that that's just a generic, I guess, do you know when people say like, oh, big fat liar? I think it was that kind of thing. I don't think she was talking about Angela's like size or anything like that. Um, so that that's why I I didn't jump to that. I, I did jump to a conclusion immediately, but then I, I dug into it more and I was like, oh, wait, yeah, no, I, she, I don't think she meant it like that. I think she meant like, do you know when the throwaway phrase is used like big fat liar? I think it was a bit like that. But anyways, yeah, no, I think T-Core could be flaming out sooner rather than later she's not trying hard enough with 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 um trying to get the the with the veto potentially not being used in her favor this week uh, she needs to step it up quick um debbie larson thank you so so much i appreciate you ever so much my love um and debbie larson says so appreciate you doing the live feed updates love your positive attitude and your great personality the world needs more tom vazies that's really really sweet i appreciate that thank you debbie that's really sweet uh, marie carnley says thanks and i appreciate Appreciate the generosity there, Marie. You're always coming through, being so kind to me, and I can't tell you how much it warms my heart. So thank you ever so much, my love. It really means a lot. And then we've got Corey B7311. Thank you so much, Corey B. I appreciate you. Then we've got Ari Legan. Or oh, Ariel. Ariel Egan. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Um, thanks for the content and working so hard for us, BB Obsessed. Of course. Listen, I'm BB Obsessed, and I know there's other people like me, so. Here I am to provide. Thank you so, so much, Ariel. And then Debbie Larson again. Wonderful, Debbie. Debbie says, um, I finally figured out how to give you more than two books. Duh. Hopefully this can get you a slice of pizza. It certainly will. Thank you so much, my love. Thanks for all you do for all of those. Um, all of us who do not have the time or patience to watch 24-7, you are appreciated. It's my pleasure, Debbie. And I, I really appreciate that kindness from you. It's really sweet. And um, you just put a big smile on my face. So thank you so, so much, my love. I, I, it really means a lot to me. And then last but certainly not least, over on PayPal, we've got the wonderful Ronica Barry who says, Coffee and snacks for you, Tom. Love your commentaries. Enjoy. I certainly will, my love. Thank you so, so much, Ronica. That's a lovely name, Ronica. I appreciate that so, so much. Um, and I hope you have the best day ever. But anyways, thank you so, so much, everybody, for your continued support through Janky World. Let's keep the train chugging. Um, but thank you so, so much, everybody. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, do all of that wonderful stuff. But until your next live feed update, I've been your host, Tom Vasey. Good night.